Best Crypto Trading Bots Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some of the best bot platforms and the types of bots they offer. So if any of these platforms are something that you're interested in or if you're someone that is interested in just using bots for crypto trading, make sure to watch this video till the end. Now, bots on multiple different platforms like Binance, OKX, and Bybit are honestly the same. OKX is a dedicated bot trading platform, but as long as you have bots on other platforms, the basic features and what you're actually getting, what they're supposed to do, and how they function is going to be the same. Now, firstly, which platform should you be using? Well, because they're all the same, they're just programs and strategies that do something across any exchange, they are going to be pretty similar. OKX, Binance, and Bybit are some of the top global platforms for cryptocurrency exchange and you can choose to go with whatever one you prefer so you can click on the links down below to get started and after that you have to look at crypto bots with the functions they provide so for example if i am going into trading bots one of the most basic things i want to do is set up a recurring buy which is otherwise known as a dollar cost average but on most of these bot platforms it actually gives the name as recurring buy not dollar cost average so that is what you set it up and that is when it automatically buys the crypto that you want at regular intervals so you put some money on the platform and you say that every month or every week i can simply buy a hundred or five hundred dollars worth of crypto and it's going to do that over time very simply the way that you set it is that you set it up so the recurring buy bot is going to do it for you and you can scroll down and you can see we have buying options we have selling options we have sideways but if you go into simple investing options if you go into overview over here and you go into simple purchasing options you can buy crypto at a regular interval by clicking on recurring buy over here and once i do that let's say i want to select my assets and i want to convert those and i want to currently recurring buy is not available but recurring buy is going to be available for most of you guys and this is going to be a great strategy because it would lower your dollar cost average through bear markets and draw down the two way to buy crypto where the dollar cost average is it's not going to be known as a dollar cost average but rather as a lump sum or recurring buy now neither is worse whether you're purchasing all together or going for a long strategy uh it can be done in both ways now usually when you're dollar cost averaging or using recurring buy i think around 18 months that's when you're going to get a, a really good price and if you're seeing that we're in a bear market and things are pretty low or going lower and you know the price is weak as long as you want to accumulate that asset so you can set it up or you can do this manually as well but that takes a lot of you know the emotions out of things when you're setting up recurring buy so you can set up things for a couple of months like six to twelve months to do it and it's very easy and it makes you build a better system if you're in a bull market where the prices are rising and you want to be going with lump sum potentially because you know the dollar cost averaging at hot is going to average at a higher price in comparison and your average price is going to be your cost basis and that's going to go up and this totally depends on whatever market we're in whatever token we're purchasing now if we go into a second type of bot we can go into trade here and go into trading bots now another type of bot that uses this strategy is called the margin tail bot you may see this on your platform as dca you can click on more bots over here and we can see we have spot dca over here this auto places buy and sell orders for better average pricings and it closes your position favorably now these are different strategies so if we click on this dca recurring buy this is an active trading strategy and it's going to do things a little bit of a different way so if we click on this spot dca bot over here you guys can see that first off you set your desired direction whether you're looking to buy or sell you set your price parameters which means your price deviation the price difference in percentage at which your dca orders will be placed 
Then you have to take profit and a specific percentage of your average price point before ending each round of the trading bot. And you determine your initial base amount and your subsequent order amount. Then you guys can see we have the selling side. So when you're running a spot DCA, your buy side automatically buys the base asset on the parameters above to lower the average price and sells the total amount if the price increases by the target profit margin relative to the average price. The sell side automatically sells the base asset on based on the parameters that you gave above. And if the percentage is increased, if the profit percentage is increased, then the relative average cost of buying. Now we're going to click on start trading. And this is how it looks like when it's fully functional. You guys can actually see your grids over here. Now from here, you guys can see your price deviation, your take profit, and we can choose fix or trailing as well. Fix means it's instantaneously going to cut off at that particular point, but trailing means it's a trailing stop. So this can help you in taking advantage of a bullish markets, and this is an active trading position. So if you are someone that is looking for a more active trading bot, you have this type of bot. But these are, let's say, if you're looking to accumulate a crypto token like BTC or any other crypto token, and I think we're in a bull market. So I think the price is generally going to be rising but there are dips during these bull markets all the time so i want to try to selectively buy in those dips and you can sit in front of your screen trying to find this dip that is going to happen in a bull market but instead of having to do that the entire day you can use a margin tile bot or this dca strategy which essentially tries to buy those dips and you can set it up to say that if we dip five percent i want to buy this much and if we go down another five percent i want to buy it again and then a third time so that is what you're going to set this up so every five percent we move down i have to have another buy so you can set it up to actually buy 10 at this point 20 however much you want you're actually buying more as the price comes down so what you're really doing is either trying to enter into an active buy in the dip trade but that's the bot doing it for you and it's going to try to get you at the best possible entry price rather than just seeing a dip and being like okay i just want to buy right now and buying all of your tokens and then having another dip that was a larger dip which is going to make you lose a lot of money because you can dollar cost average this out and you can actually get a really nice position so in this in my price settings we have your base order size our base order investment and if you want to sell btc we can also sell btc as well and we have the base order size the dca order size and the max dca orders below that we also had advanced options so we can set trigger price price division uh our price deviation multipliers as well as our cooldown between rounds now this goes pretty much in the same way when you're looking to profit off of this or rather than just purchasing a token if you want to sell a token you can go for sell btc and you think oh i'm in a bear market and i want to sell as soon as the price hits it just goes slightly up so you can go for the selling and follow the same strategy and the bot is going to do it for you rather than having to do it by yourself next up we have all go orders now all go orders you can go into like so all go orders enhance the execution of large orders in smaller blocks with intelligent all go orders also available at the api and you can click on create to proceed with creating now this is what the Algo Orders platform is going to look like on Binance. And you can see buy BTC, sell BTC. We have TWAP and POV. You have two types of execution strategies, which is time weighted, average price, and percentage of volume. So let's say we want to trade one Bitcoin or something like that, but you don't want to trade it all in one right now because you know that today you have no idea of what's going to happen or tomorrow if the price is going to rise up. So what you do is you set up a TWAP or a you know time-weighted average price. And what you're trying to do is get a decent price for your trade in comparison to what the market traded right. Because let's say you buy at this point over here and that was a bad trade because throughout the day the price was much lower you bought right here and throughout the day the price was so much lower 
So what you're trying to do is that the bot is going to split up orders and say we're going to sell like point one percent every hour so we're going to get an average price for our trade which is going to know that the average price was traded throughout the day so you're going to buy and sell at different prices and you will see the average over here and you're going to be able to get a pretty decent strategy now this is a time weighted average now the second type of strategy we have is pov which is also your execution strategy of percentage of volume now you have urgency in this, you have order expiry time, delay start time, and limit pricing. And in this, you're looking at whenever the volume is traded, your order is going to be a part of that. So that the more volume is traded, you will trade more of your order. The less volume is traded, you're going to be trading less of your what you're trying to do. And what you're trying to do is get the average price of your trade in line with what is most of what the market participants are receiving and this is usually good for large orders if you're going to be using or trying to trade a large order in a short amount of time then you know this is going to be the type that type of bot that you want to be using because it's simple it's easy and it's effective for those types of trades now next up in our trading bots we have our more popular bots called arbitrage bots now this is a delta neutral strategy to earn funding fees effortlessly with a funding rate arbitrage and hedge price risk. Now this is something that is really popular for hedge funds and hedge funds have done this for a really long time but with crypto it's pretty easy for us to do this now. If you click on arbitrage and you you can see this on Bybit, you can see this on OKX, you can see this on Binance, whatever you prefer. You guys can see that you're going to pretty much see all of these bots pretty much the same. They're all labeled similarly, if not exactly the same. And if I go into trading over here, go into trading bots, you will see we do have arbitrage bots over here as well. But I'm just going to be using the Binance one because we've been using all of the Binance ones till now. Now, this particular trading strategy is popular, and what we want to do is we want to carry out this bot to take advantage of a yield that is paid to us from the market, but we want to hedge out our price exposure so that we're going to long Ethereum, buy and hold, that asset in our spot account, it's actually staked Ethereum because it's the staking token, so that you can stake Ethereum and it pays you 3 and a half percent yield as of making this video now this is going to be um dependent on you know whenever you are staking and depending on the staking period as well but of course we have price exposure to eth as well that has been pretty great because eth has gone up a lot it's a strong asset but the strategy is taking out that price exposure to what we would take as a position in the futures market which is short so we're going to long eth in the spot market but we're going to short eth in the futures market so that creates what's known as a delta neutral position where you're long and short and at the exact same time so the amount of ETH, so if the price goes up or goes down in one of your positions is going to be canceling out the other position and you're going to have no price exposure to the price of ETH or it's going to be minimal price exposure. But you're still going to be getting this uh, 2.5, 2.80 or 2.71 APR on your actual staked ETH. And your rewards are going to be your call as a funding rate. And this is a positive position where you're going to be earning the funding rate if you've got a short position if you've got a long position it really does not impact you whatsoever you're still able to earn it doesn't even matter whatever type of token pair you're selecting as long as you're going with a strong token ideally you want to go with a strong token but because this is such a delta neutral strategy as you may call it you can choose even weaker tokens because you're shorting and creating a long price at the same time it takes a lot of risk out of it but arbitrage yield that you're getting from the long position and any funding position as an example where the arbitrage bot is going to give you a list of all of the assets that are paying the highest fund right now and you can see the futures get that funding but you cancel out your price exposure where you're buying the spot and this btc let's say we go for this one over here so the APY is 2.7%, which is amazing. So you're getting 2.7% or 
2.5, without much exposure to risk. This is just going to function as a very simple strategy. Now, moving on to another trading strategy, and that is actually going to be something that is pretty easy to use even for beginners, and that is actually crypto grid bots. So you're not going to see this even in your bot section. You can see auto invest, futures, futures grid. We have spot grids. So grid bots are in both markets where we have spot grids and future grids. In the spot grid, we buy low and sell high automatically 24 seven, and we just set up our price ranges. Then we can pretty much do the same thing within the futures grid as well, which means that we're going to amplify our purchasing power with the advanced version of grid trading. We have short orders as well as USDM and coin M futures. Now in this, we can go into the spot trading bot like so, and we have to set up the bot like so. Now on the right, you will see some popular bots which we can copy. We can set up our own manual bots as well. First off, you set up the price ranges. We can auto fill this as well which means that we're buying and selling at a certain price. And the number of grids, you can choose arithmetic or geometric. Then you can choose your investment. So let's say we want to spend $900 or 900 USDT. And then below that, we have advanced options within our spot trading bot, which is trailing up, which means if the market price goes up, then the grid bot's upper limit for more than one step, the bot will cancel the buy order at the lowest price and place a new buy order below the market price, moving the entire grid one step forward. Now, below that, we also have a, a grid trigger, so the grid will be active once the last price reaches the grid price, and then you have your take profit stop loss. Now, stop loss is really important to set up because this allows you to minimize your risk and manage your investments in an easier way. You also have PL and ROI, which you can use to take profit and stop loss. If we were to go into the futures grid, and in our futures grid, we can also copy the trades. We can go for manual settings. We can even go with AI-based grids. Now, if we go into our basic Binance spot grid, even that has an AI-based grid. So in our AI-based grids, we have things like short-term sideways, short-term midterm sideways, midterm fluctuations, short-term fluctuations, and these are AI-based strategies that have been created. We can click on customize parameters and just have the basic draft added for us and then customize the rest of our purchasing. Then we can do this in our futures as well. So if we go into the futures grid like so, we can see if I go like this, we can choose a neutral long or short position. And you guys will see that in the futures market, your positions are going to look pretty different depending on the direction you have. And you'll have your AI recommendation risk as well as your potential profits with fees deducted. Now, I do recommend always going through all of these trading bots before you start, you know, purchasing and, you know, using any randomized bot. You do study all of these in much detail and try them out. Just, you know, experiment with them a little. You also do have a rebalancing bot, which is a long-term position strategy and supporting your investment portfolio, which allows you to diversify your assets to manage risk in a easier and better way. You guys can see this allows you to adjust your portfolio position based upon the token combination of your choice. And you can set up your rebalancing bot by choosing the tokens that you want to purchase. You can see we have a manual setting for this and we can go by market cap or allocation so let's say I want to have ethereum and Bitcoin and I want to invest 50 50 in both I can choose my investment coin the total coin ratio the advanced option this helped me in diversifying my tokens in a simpler way now you can use any and all of these trading bots on all platforms and I do think that all of them are super helpful depending on the type of crypto trading strategy that you are following whether you're using OKX, PyNX, Bybit, CoinMarketCap, Coinbase whatever you're using it is going to be the bot is going to be very similar regardless so i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more content like this and if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.